Good morning. How the devil are you doing this fine day? Uh, me? Well, I'm feeling a bit like a proper YouTuber today. Uh, in addition to our usual fare of demolition and diggers, we have not one but two travel films. One from a pre-pandemic world to mark Hyundai's arrival on Instagram, and a much more recent one of my trip to Sweden. Uh, we don't get to produce that kind of content very uh, anywhere near often enough, um, but I'd love to get your thoughts when you see it. Oh, and by the way, if you tuned into this week's Saturday social show, then you'll be pleased to know that my article on how demolition and construction appears to have gone soft is now available. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that as well. I have put a link in, or I'm about to put a link in the chat to it right now. So without further ado, let me post the question of the day, which is left over from Friday. Uh, roll the intro and get this show on the road. Welcome to The Great Club Show. I'm your host, Mark Anthony. It's Monday. It is Monday, the uh, 13th of June. And as that remarkably persistent guy just said... Welcome to The Breakfast Show. I am your host, Mark Anthony. In today's travel-heavy show, a tiger cat is spotted in its natural habitat. We have a JCB excavator in what might be an absolutely unique application. As we once again look ahead to Hillhead 2022, we're getting all protective with Digger Guard. And to mark Hyundai's arrival on Instagram, we're travelling back in time and over to the Benelux, Benelux countries for a pre-pandemic visit to the company's European factory. Plus, we're bringing you an exclusive look behind the scenes at my recent trip to Eskilstuna in Sweden, home of the mighty Volvo construction equipment. We'll get to all of that in just a second. But first, let's see who among the rich and the shameless will be celebrating a birthday on this day of days. Happy birthday! And it's many happy returns to the original American First Lady, Martha Washington, and to the original on-screen Sherlock Holmes, actor Basil Rathbone. Happy birthday also to iconic British actor Malcolm McDowell, to Swedish actor Stellan Skarsgård, heavyweight boxer Mike Weaver, and to the voice of Buzz Lightyear, actor Tim Allen, to Breakfast Club actress Ali Sheedy, jackass star Steve-O, and to Captain America himself, Mr. Chris Evans. Many happy returns to them one and all. It's at time like, times like this that I wish I could do a passable David Attenborough impersonation because we're about to see the solitary tiger cat in its natural habitat. It is a master of the forest and while it often leaves distinctive tracks, it is seldom seen, at least until now.
as I said, David Attenborough would probably have done a better job with that than me. Axoft and Svantec are your high-end partners for noise, vibration, dust and air quality systems, sensors and software. To find out more, visit axoft.co.uk or call 01234 639 550. This weekend, I received word that Hyundai Construction Equipment has joined Instagram at long last. In the grand scheme of things, I guess that may not be earth-shattering news, but as Instagram is where we have our biggest audience, our greatest reach, and most certainly our greatest influence, we're delighted to see Hyundai on the platform. And besides, it gives me an opportunity to travel back in time to my last visit to the Hyundai factory. Got your passport? Good. If you are an Instagram user, and I know a good many of you are, please follow Hyundai under the name Hyundai CE Europe. That's Hyundai, H-Y-U-N-D-A-I-C-E for Construction Equipment Europe. I'd be interested to know also what you think of that vlog style of video, as we're hoping to do more of them now that we can travel just a little more freely. In fact, we have another travel style vlog at the end of today's show, so stick around for that. The Miller GT Series heralds a new era of unrivaled power and cutting-edge intelligent coupler technology, increasing job site safety, machine versatility, and productivity. It's the added versatility that you need at the value you can afford. To find out more, visit millergroundbreaking.com. Necessity, it is said, is the mother of invention. So while equipment manufacturers develop equipment specifically to satisfy customer needs, they are often shocked to discover, discover some of the weird and wonderful applications in which their equipment is being used. And trust me, they really don't come more weird and wonderful than this.
So now you know how they keep those solar farms clean and operational. This time next week, my bags will be packed and I'll be doing one last show from the studio before heading for Buxton in Derbyshire and the Mighty Hillhead exhibition. And one of the companies on my must uh, must visit list is a company that I only heard about mid-pandemic and which, therefore, I have never actually met in person. And that company is called DiggerGuard. Now, don't forget, at 6pm this Wednesday evening, I will be hosting a very special edition of our site equipment show to just to whet your appetite for the Hillhead exhibition even more. Uh, that pre-show will feature a huge array of equipment, give you a glimpse behind the scenes of the preparation for the show. It should generally get your Hillhead juices flowing. And I, know, I can tell from the chat, they already, <laughs> already are flowing. I hope you can join us for that. But after this, we're off to Sweden. Okay, so regular viewers will know that I recently paid a visit to Sweden, home of the mighty Volvo construction equipment. It was a fantastic trip. I saw some truly impressive equipment, met some great new people, and I also bagged a nice new T-shirt in the process, which you can see there. Uh, but in addition to filming all the equipment, I wanted to give you a bit of a glimpse behind the scenes. So join me as we travel together to Eskilstuna. I hope you've packed your toothbrush. Welcome to Eskilstuna in Sweden. 
I was actually planning to film this last night, but by the time I got to the hotel, the first hotel city here in Eskilstuna, it was late and my uh, battery was almost dead, so I decided rather than trying to film in the dark with a half dead battery, I'd do it this morning. So I'm just going to have a quick look around. Not due to be picked up for about another hour or so, so we're going to have a very quick look around and see what Eskilstuna has to offer. Those of you that watch the Brake Flash Show will know that I was panicking about bringing enough gear. My bag, even though I'm travelling light, contains multiple cameras, multiple lenses, multiple tripods as well. It turns out the one important piece of equipment that I forgot to bring was my fishing gear. Hoping you'll be able to see this above my head, hopefully, because I'm not looking through the right lens, hopefully above my head there. That's the flag of Eskilstuna. I just wanted to show you something very quickly. I'm filming this at about 8.30 on a Friday morning, middle of the rush hour. And behind me is one of the main roads that runs through Eskilstuna. Look at all the traffic. One car. Just the one car. Make that too. So we've taken a short taxi ride from the hotel to the Volvo Customer Centre. As you can see, that's the Volvo building in the background, lots of flags. That's not what we're here to see. What we're here to see is this. I really hope you can see this. That is an absolute beast of a ship. So the main part of my visit here at Volvo in Eskilstuna is fast coming to a close. I wanted to say a very quick thank you to Anders who has taken me around all the machines today, to Martin who has just taken me around the remote control straight boom machine. Good to meet Martin in, in person at long last, but really a huge thank you to everybody at Volvo. Thanks ever so much for your hospitality. Thanks for looking after us all so well. And here is just one final glimpse of what Volvo has on offer. As I mentioned earlier, I'd be interested to know what you think of that um, film format. Um, just want to say a very quick thank you again to all of the folks out there uh, at Volvo Construction Equipment, um, to, as I've mentioned, Anders, to Martin, and also to uh, Maria, uh, who was our main host for the show, uh, for the uh, Influencer Day. Fantastic host, fantastic trip, and as I say, got me a nice T-shirt out of it as well. Um, 
I would like to know what you think of that film format. Uh, we can't bring them to you all the time because I am generally stuck here in the studio. But if you like it, we will try to do more. And we'll certainly be trying to do that kind of format for Hillhead, basically to share it with the likes of James, who can't actually make it to the show. And I know Gary can't make it either. Um, so uh, keep watching for that. Um, we will be back with Volvo again tomorrow. Just before I came on the air, the company sent me details of a new hydrogen-powered ADT that they're currently testing. I'll tell you more tomorrow. Just one other thing, and I've bearing in mind I was there, and bearing in mind I actually filmed it, one of the things I've just noticed watching that film was that autonomous hauler um, that was uh, on display there. If you get a chance to watch this back, and the film is actually going up on YouTube as we speak, watch the tyres following precisely the tracks of a an, another autonomous hauler that had been there before. It is absolutely millimetre perfect. Uh, and I, as I say, hadn't noticed that up until I pressed the play button today. Um, so go and take a look. Sorry to interrupt the guy with the funny glasses, but if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button as it helps our channel. Or better still, share this video with a friend or a colleague. Thank you. Right, back to Beardy. Right, that pretty much wraps up the main part of this morning's show. Uh, I'm going to roll the outro in just a second before leaping gazelle-like over into the chat to see what you're all saying today. If you can't stick around for that, then please stay safe, look after yourself, your family, your friends, and your colleagues. Have a great day, and thanks for watching. But if you do have the time and the inclination, I'll see you on the other side of this. Hey.